All right, guys, hang on just a second. Let me get everything set up. We'll be live in just one second. We'll be live in just one. You're going to hear a lot of thunder, man. It is really storming here. It is storming like crazy. Let's see. Open that up. Where's my chat? What's up, everybody? <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to apologize. I'm going right, to guys, hang on just a second. Let me get everything Oh, we're about to have up. big feedback. We'll be live in just one second. Pause that. Okay, pop my chat out. It is storming like crazy, man. That's why I'm a little late. So if I suddenly just disappear, you know what happened. All right. I got my chat going. What's up, everybody? We're on the, uh, we're going to be on exploit today. I'm going to start streaming every day or as much as I can. Assuming the, the storm doesn't kill me today. Hang on, let me open up my chat one more time. Okay, I got my chat up. Man, that dark. Ugh. All right, here we are in Exploit. And we don't necessarily have a base because it's a communal style server or communist, as some people would say. But this is where Dr. Jen Cyan and I, uh, we do our work here. We have a lot of things going on. I don't know if any of you have seen my videos on this. I have a dual iron farm here. However, only currently the bottom iron farm is working. It's uh, it's actually underwater, the entire iron farm. And I can swim underwater because we have conduit. So, that's why. As you can tell, we love birch. Man, that storm. Like if... if if I die, then you just got to make sure you post this around. That'd be really funny. Be like, oh, God died in an electrical storm. The uh, We have a guardian farm. We have a, an upper iron farm. Let me check chat real quick. Hello, everybody. Hey, dude. Hey, what's up? Um, Wait, so he is on Exploit and Broke Rock. I am everywhere. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, he's on both. I'm actually on Advanced Automation also. What is the most you can get for Iron Farm? The maximum theoretical rate is 411. It is theorized that the maximum actual rate is 404. You should check out Rufus Atticus's videos. Link in the description. He has some great videos to explain Iron Farm rates with math. Now, the math is a little long for some people, but I really enjoyed it. And he will explain to you why people that claim over that or completely lying to you. Yeah, birch wood best wood. That's right. Look at all look at all this beautiful birch trees right here. This island, I flattened this island and planted all these birch trees. Well, Dr. Jan Cyan helped help plant some of the trees. Um, four hundred eleven. Yeah, that's the highest. Um, let's see where we at. Twenty stacks. Well. If you, this is, the 411 is for a single village farm. Now, if you stack villages, you can go higher and you can go to, well, I mean, the sky's the limit. Just however much lag you can take. Spruce is better. Get out of here with that. I'm not going to ban you or anything, but man, you, you're allowed to have the wrong opinion. What's this? Sand. Hmm, interesting. I didn't take, oh, well, i already seen that. This is a... I don't, I probably shouldn't show this, but I am. It's a automatic pumpkin carver by Dr. Gentian. A semi-automatic, should I say. We have a, this is a manual, a manual uh, wood farm here. This is where I get beetroots to uh, breed villagers. However, I don't think we're going to need to breed villagers because we already have villagers in the farm. Yeah, we have slime farms, we have everything. There is no five sim in Minecraft. Yeah, there's no not unless you do custom on a BDS server software. Then you could have five simulation distance. Let's see where, where I'm at. Never give up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sim Bob is BDS. Yeah, yeah. You can make custom simulation distances. Let's go check out the upper iron farm to make sure our villagers are still there and make sure we don't need to breed any real quick. Uh, didn't mean to delete. Mm, sorry. Sorry whoever you got deleted. 
You can post it again. It's fun. Unless it's a swear word or something like that. We placed these villagers when we built the lower iron farm. We just never traded with them. We didn't add workstations or anything else at the time. I also... Oh, I can't remember if I added beds or not. Oh, I did not add beds. That's why they don't have workstations, because they don't have beds. Okay, all of that makes complete sense. We will need to get beds and magma blocks and the whole works. Okay. This isn't going to be a long stream because you can probably hear that I'm probably about to die in a, in a terrible, terrible storm. No, I'm just kidding. I'm in the house. It's fun. Would an iron farm above a zombie spawner still work? Absolutely, it still work. And in fact, if you are close enough to it within 16 blocks of that spawner, then you will get discounts that you can trade with. So if you build an iron farm like this, where the villagers are exposed like this, where you can trade with them, you will get discounts. This is 10 villagers in this iron farm. I, uh, I still maintain that 20 is probably too many for most iron farms. Even though if you're only going to build one iron farm, 20 is the way to go. But if you're going to build multiple iron farms, you really should go with 10 because you get more iron per villager. So more iron per villager. Uh, living in an ocean is so nice, so you can jump in the water. Yeah, it is so nice. Let me show you. Yeah, don't die on us. I'm going to do my best not to die. I mean, I uh, I really need to gear up because I filmed a lot of stuff with Dr. Jan Cyan recently, and I died a bunch. And You should go check out his video after you, after the stream. But uh, we did a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. What's all this? Oh, look at all those interesting that's interesting that all these birch logs are back oh 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 i wonder if they returned if they chopped all our stuff out oh wow it's getting serious out there <laughs> that's crazy is let's see so that bug with a dungeon zombie villager yeah it's it, you can stack iron farms now, right? Yes. Iron farm stacking is back. It was in 1.11. It was in 1.12. Um, a guy named OrTV and I discovered that in 1.11. And it was broken in 1.13 through 1.14. And because of a bug. And they fixed that bug in 1.16. So stacking is back. Works a little different than it did in 1.11. It. Uh, I will actually have a video about that later this week. I'm going to work on it after the stream and probably I want to shoot for Thursday or Saturday about, I'm going to start making technical videos at least once a week and I'm going to stream three or four days a week. I'll catch you later, buddy. All right. See you later, man. Why are you living away from everyone else on exploit? Why don't live here? I mean, I just work here. We really wanted to build around this guardian farm and we also Dr. Jen, Cyan, and I, we don't have as much playtime as a lot of the people that, that play on Exploit. And so we wanted to play at a different pace and do our own thing and kind of not have to, like, I don't want to say the word compete, but like we don't want to have to, other people to have to wait on us to play. We don't want to be halfway through a project and then they're mad because we don't have time to play on it. Man, th when Dr. Jen, Cyan finished this right here, it looks spectacular. He, uh, he added these just recently, these red stripes. It looks great over here. So we ventured out thousands of blocks so that we didn't bother anyone, that we didn't, we weren't competing with resources. We weren't in their way. We weren't taking up a, a guardian farm that they wanted to use. We, we are a little older and we don't have as much free time as some people sometimes. Can I just infinitely stack iron farms? in a simulation distance or is there a limit well i don't like to go over a hundred now theoretically the, there is no limit i don't like to go over a hundred villagers what's up man because there is potential issues with when you go over 64 villagers in a, in a simulation distance i don't like to you can i'm not telling you how to live your life but there's not theoretically a limit. 
What was I doing? Oh, I was building armor. Okay. You guys are distracting me with all your questions. We need armor because we will die a ton. Let's find some sticks. Oh, we'll just take that pick. Oh, that's pretty nice one. I don't want to take that. I'm going to take the iron, though. Uh, we need some sticks. Who has sticks around here? We are going to... Look at all this wood. I bet I have sticks here somewhere, right? Oh, here's sticks right here. Let's see. We will need a sword. We will need a pickaxe. We won't need a shovel, but we'll need an axe. And then we can save the rest of the stuff. All right. Let's see where we are in chat. Has breeding changed recently? It seems a lot slower. No, it's not changed any. Let me let me show you how I'm breeding on uh, exploit. And because I haven't actually needed a very fast breeder just re until until I get ready to build the uh, the uh, fat stacks iron farm, which will be pretty recent, which will be pretty soon. I'm gonna take a couple of stacks of food with me, and I'll show you the uh, breeder real quick. I built just a simple breeder. It uses three villagers, and it, it breeds fairly quickly. And uh, you don't need an elaborate breeder. Standard stack raid farm broke. Yeah, th they broke because of the R44, not because of the because of the raid farms broke. I actually am working currently on a tutorial for to rebuild the raid farms. I'm working on a lot of stuff. Like my schedule is freed up because school started and. I'm working on a lot of stuff. I got a lot of iron in the fire. Here is the breeder that I'm using to build these iron farms, or that I actually use to breed these villagers. You can see we're all in just the middle of an ocean. We're just we just zip around from island to island. That's the great thing about being in an ocean. You you just just build wherever. You don't have to terraform a bunch of land. You just start building stuff. Um. Eight blocks horizontally and in sim distance. Yeah, if you're on a four chunk sim distance, then it is uh, it is simulation distance. And if it is, you are on a higher simulation distance, it's 80 blocks horizontally. Is the farthest a... Oh, look at there. A villager must have bred. Somebody must have been over here. Oh, I guess he's in my boat, probably. Did he jump in my boat? Yeah, he sure did. Good on you, buddy. I'm going to leave him in that little boat. See, I breed villagers accidentally. I don't even I don't even try to be breeding villagers and they breed. You just have to know the rules. And I want to show you. I have a villager here. This is the lower village, the dump village. I always build this style this, this style breeder. That way I don't have to go through the nether and I don't have to mess with the portals and I don't have to do any of that stuff. You can do that, but you don't have to. I have three beds here. And this is your upper village. These two villagers. You just scoot back a little ways. Look at there. Bam. Villager pops out. Because they have food. You just throw food right here on this little ledge right here. They'll get it. And they fall off. And as soon as they fall off, they join the lower village and they're ready to breed again. Look at that. Oh yeah, breeding is so hard. Everyone tells me how hard breeding is. Look at that. We're just breeding villagers for no good reason. I don't even need these villagers. Can you do a iron and raid farm combo? Yes, I can, and we will be working on that very soon. You see that? Three villagers, and I didn't even try. This is crazy. Like people, I see people constantly on on Discord. They're like. Is breeding broken? How come I can't breed? How come I, my villagers won't breed? Nobody does this. They don't do that. They don't take food. Yeah, they do. They'll take your food. You stroll down like that right there. You don't need an elaborate breeder. You don't need to. You don't need to build some crazy complicated thing. You build. You build two villagers, three beds, and a dump village. Do they need jobs? No, these guys don't have jobs. 
I did steal him from a village where he did have a job. But uh, they don't need jobs. They don't need workstations. Oh, for a raid form? Do you, for a raid form? No, they don't need jobs for a raid form. The only... They don't need jobs except for iron forms. Or for trading with. That's the only thing they need jobs for. They don't need jobs for raid forms. They don't need jobs to breed. They only need to be part of a village. Jobs are not needed for raid forms. That's tr that's correct. I made one, but I lose the advantage of inst raid form. If you aren't getting the insta kill raid form, that means one of your villages are dead. I've fallen through the bed or done something like that. I actually want to talk about that because there is a uh, let's call it. A, I mean, these guys just keep. Like, you see how easy it is to breed villagers. Like people complain about this all the time. I'm not sure what the problem is. So I'm going to leave this here, and I'm going to uh, abandon all these villagers. But you, you literally see how easy it is to breed villagers. You don't need a ton of beds. You don't need a ton of anything. You just, you just build a breeder. And I know I made it look a little simple, because it really is. They need jobs to sit still, look pretty. Yeah. <laughs> You can use nitwits or villagers with jobs or unemployed villagers or whatever kind of villager you want. You can stick them up there. Now, I prefer to use the peasant class villagers, which includes um, nitwits and unemployed and farmers and uh, fishermen and stuff like that. Uh, shepherds, uh, those kind of villagers, because they actually hold more food and can breed more often without needing you to resupply them. But you don't have to. You can build a breeder with any type of villager. Let's see. Dr. Jan Cyan has best fortress form. He has some great stuff that he's done with fortress forms. Now, unfortunately, he built his with, um, what do you call it, um, sand pushers. And they broke or were patched out, really. They didn't really break, but they were patched out because Mojang is going after zero tick and going after uh, pretty much everything that you love. The golems need just one block to spawn. No, golems spawn in a 16 by 6 by 16 area, and the more spawn spots you have in that area, the faster your iron farm will be. And also, golems need a 2 by 2 area to spawn on. Oh, so that's why rip mending villager. Oh, I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, if it's one block gap, yes, prevent. Just use a trap door. Oh, let's see, I missed miss something. Let's see. Oh, your iron farm, raid farm not having insta-kill? Well, I plan on having insta-kill in mind, just saying. Uh, let's see, baby zombies can jump on lecterns. Yeah, you should you should make your, your trading hall and stuff like that, like, uh, you know, mob proof, light it up, put doors and stuff. You can put trap doors and stuff on the, to block your villagers in. Make it secure for them. Don't, don't let them die. What should be the distance of the dump village and the breeder? They need to be a minimum of 76 blocks apart. I like to do plus 80 at least. Just to be on the safe side. You bring you bring your villagers to the top. Two villagers to the top. One villager to the bottom. And then you add your beds. That way you create two separate villages. Uh, dump village must be... So, yeah, that's correct. Hey, board, check your old messages. Let's see... How close can two iron farms be next to each other and work properly? That is a complicated question. The correct answer is zero blocks apart, but the safe answer is 96 blocks apart and 76 blocks vertically. What did I need? Oh, I needed beds. Okay, let's go find some beds and some blocks. And you guys are going to need to remind me to eat just so we know. Are you building the fat stack iron form? I am going to build the fat stack iron form, but not tonight. I am going to finish this double iron farm here that I started pre 1.16, but we didn't update for a while and I got busy and like life got complicated and I need to increase the iron production for exploit 
very quickly because I, as I understand it, there are a lot of projects coming up that need iron. So I'm going to double the iron farm here and get that cranking. And then I will have time to build a fat sex. We'll build that on stream or I'll make a video. We'll do something. I don't want to lie and say I'll build it on stream because, man, that might take several, several streams. This isn't going to be a terribly long stream, but it is going to, I am going to try to finish. You see this bell right here? You never use bells. They're hot garbage. Yeah, birch is the best wood. Everybody knows that. I'm not sure why that's so controversial. The only thing like spruce is good for is like using it to make beds and sticks and stuff. Let's see what do we got here. Uh, spruce planks. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Does anybody know how to make a barrel? Put it in chat if you know how to make a barrel. I mean, I can look it up, I guess. Could be a lazy person. Who knows how to make a barrel? Is it slabs? What do you think of Truly Bedrock? I like a lot of the guys on there. I'm not going to lie. I know several of them from Discord. I don't necessarily watch a lot of it because I don't have time. But I don't have any beef with those guys. I, I know everybody wants everyone to have beef with them, but I don't. Either, either I don't care one way or the other, or I generally like some of the people there. I, it's nice other than a certain member. I'm not going to go there. Let's see. Six, six, two wooden slabs. Is that right? Six sticks? Okay, I'll take your guys' word on it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to take your guys' word on that, that it sticks, but that don't sound right to me. See, this is the only good thing that... Let's see. I don't see it, man. Oh, I, I didn't make slabs. Okay, that's the problem. I was like, you guys are telling me it's composter. Are y'all sure y'all didn't weren't thinking? Oh, there we go. Barrel. Okay, we need 10 barrels. So we have enough for six. What are we missing? Sticks, probably. And we'll make some slabs. And we will make seven, eight, nine, ten. I am going to make all of those guys up there fishermen because we have a ton of fish from the guardian farm. So we might as well put that stuff to use. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Bring that back down here. All right, let's go throw this. Oh, we'll take that wool with us. We'll use that. Okay. Let's wrap this up. We'll probably need to come back down and get some water buckets and stuff. But for right now, we're just going to knock out the beds. Uh, let's see. Why would anyone want a beef? You'd be surprised, man. People love that drama. People live for that kind of stuff. They want you to talk bad about this person or that person. People love that stuff. I just don't have time for it. I just don't. Like I said, I follow several of those guys, and I know a lot of them from Discord, from uh, Check Rock and Analyzing Bedrock, and just, I mean, different Discords and stuff. Most of them are just regular dudes, just like me and you. They just, you know, they go to work, they play Minecraft, they do their thing. Some of them are professional Minecraft players, I guess. Whatever that means. Oh, we're going to need lava. I did not really look into that. Okay. Bring that there. Okay, and then we'll build six pack out. And then we'll build one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that gives us 12 beds. We'll go ahead and put those up here. Like I said, iron farms are super easy. Man, it's really storming out there. 
We're getting a lot of that residual rain from the hurricanes and stuff. It's craziness. All this wool came out of the iron farm. Uh, cats, they despawn now. So if you aren't close to your iron farm, your cats will despawn and you won't get string. And also it's a max of a five cats. This information courtesy of Yodov. I mean, I knew they despawned. I just didn't know it was a max of five cats. Because I care so very little about cats. I don't. I don't really collect the string, but if it's there, I'm going to use it. You are about to see some tricky stuff go on because we will be uh, adding lava to this. And the first time I tried to build this, I burned it down. So that'll be, that'll be fun for you guys if I set this thing on fire and burn it down. Hurricane Miss Houston, for the most part. Yeah, it, it kind of hit, like, uh, east of there pretty far. Let's see. Real works for me. I prefer to move villagers via boat and scaffolding, if that's what we're talking about. I actually have a video if, in, in the exploit uh, channel where I show how I move the villagers here. <laughs> Cats burn nicely. Yeah. Not in real life, from what I understand. I, I've never burned a cat, but from what I understand, they smell something awful. I uh, don't I don't encourage uh, animal cruelty. Did I only build 18 beds? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, we're two beds short. Which one of you guys let me build two beds less than I needed? Discuss that amongst yourself and decide who's to blame. I'm not sure which one of y'all wasn't counting, but nobody said anything. The move was... Uh, I, uh, like I said, I've never burned a cat. I've never uh, mutilated animals or anything like that because that's some serial killer stuff. But I have smelled hair burning and stuff like that just from welding accidents and stuff. And hair smells just... That is the worst smell you will ever smell. It's probably been asked, but how close do you have to be to an iron form to spawn golems? 80 blocks horizontally or 44 blocks vertically. Um, if you are on four chunk simulation distance, it is simulation distance. Uh, in the game, I think any burning animal smells bad. Like I said, I don't know personally. I'm just going to, I'm just going to throw that out there. Don't, don't do stuff like that. Oh man, let's see. Uh, did I not make any more planks? Uh, all of these woods are the same. None of them are birch. It doesn't really matter. We need two more beds. Yeah, all that wood is the same to me. I suspect that all of that birch wood being returned to us is a bad sign. I, I we we put all this birch across the the realm. I mean, across the server. We should not have all this wood right here. I don't know where all this wood came from, and I'm a little disturbed that it's back here. You should check out Doctor Jen Cyan's video, uh, his most recent video, I think it is, uh, where we uh, they've called the birchening. You should check that out. It is a great video. I thought about releasing my footage of it, but his video is great, and I don't. I couldn't add anything to it. His is better than mine. His, his editing, his his everything is better than mine. So check out his. He uh, does great audio. He he plays music. He does all the great things that a YouTuber should do, that I don't. So by all means, go check out his video because it's it's fantastic. So thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 beds. Okay. So we'll put a bed there. We'll put a bed there. We'll put a bed there. Uh, 
Now, as soon as we, uh, we don't have workstations, I was going to say, as soon as we get these beds and we might start spawning golems, but we won't because we don't have workstations. And the villagers have not worked yet. Like I said, this, uh, this stream, I'm going to stream on exploit at least once a week and maybe twice, maybe on Tuesdays and Thursdays. However, I suspect that it's only going to be once a week because one of those days is going to need to be tech video day. And I've committed to streaming on uh, Broke Rock at least t three times a week. And on the weekends, if I have time, I'm going to try to stream on advanced automation. Because I do stuff there occasionally sometimes too. But weekends are kind of kind of crazy, so who knows. We'll see how, we'll see how it works out. I don't want to get commit to something and uh, lie. Oh, can y'all hear the thunder? Yeah, it's crazy loud, right? So, like, if my stream just dies, that's what happened. Uh, the uh, the thunder knocked the power out or uh, struck the house or something crazy. Who knows? But yeah, we're see, we already have a village. We already have cats. We're in good shape. We aren't going to build a collection system. We're just going to let's see gonna be pro streamer no i'm not gonna be a pro streamer i just enjoy streaming i enjoy talking to chat and i mean i can sit here and play quietly by myself and record this and then uh, upload it and all that but then i wouldn't get to talk to you guys i just enjoy streaming i enjoy playing minecraft i enjoy streaming i hate editing i will still be doing some pre-recorded i'll do a like a weekly recap of what i did on like broke rock and so i'll do a weekly video there and like a tech video every week maybe if I think of something cool to do, but I have a lot of ideas that I've been working on. So But like I said, because schedules are back in order, we're good to go, man. It's it's all cylinders firing. Let's see, where was that? Okay, I'm just country. Let's see. We got twenty beds. We got ten villagers. We just need the workstation. Let's see. Stop breaking the wool with your axe. What should I use? My fist? Use my fist? I always use axe. Let's see. Let's jump off of here. Let's go get some signs and some water and some lava. We're going to need a bunch of signs. We're going to need five buckets of lava. Is that right? So that might mean a trip to the nether. Boy, that'll be exciting. When we go to the nether, we can check out and see how the realm is doing. Or the server. I keep saying realm, man. I don't mean realm. I mean server. What's in here? A water bucket? I'm pretty sure there's some shenanigans going on. Oh, this might be from when I died a bunch of times. Dr. Jan Cyan skipped up a bunch of my stuff, so this might be him saving some of my stuff. I really should go to the raid farm and get some arrows. Maybe we'll do that too. I can kind of show off the server. I don't know how many of you have actually seen very much of the exploit server. Uh, I know a lot of the players here and they are very technical, but they don't make a lot of videos. So I don't know how much of the server you guys have seen. Would you be interested in me uh, walking around giving you guys a quick tour real quick while I go look up some stuff? Let's see. Still first, we have enough iron to actually waste durability. Yeah, we have we have plenty of iron. Man, iron farms are so fast now. Oh, hey, Dr. Jan Cyan, look at that guy right there. Go like and subscribe to his channel if you haven't. Watch his latest video. It's awesome. Fist is free. Man, axes are free. I haven't seen the raid farm. Sounds cool. I don't know its functionality currently. Yodoff built it. It. Uh, I don't know its functionality currently. So I don't. I, I just know there's a bunch of arrows there. Let's see. You have an iron farm? Yeah, I have an iron farm, but let me let me scroll chat back up because man, I missed a bunch of stuff. The chat exploded there for a second. Let's bring chat over here and I'll catch up. Let's uh screen one. Let's see what do we got here. 
I missed a bunch of stuff in chat. Let's see. Stop breaking that with fist. It rained like twice in the past two weeks. Yeah, it's we haven't had a lot of rain recently, and I'd given up on my grass. It turned yellow, and the the rain over the last week or so has been crazy. And you can hear right now. Uh, let's see. Ask my, okay, I've answered that. I think any burning. Man, we're still talking about that. Okay. Yeah, it's all Yoda's fault. That is correct. It is all Yoda's fault. What's up? What's up, Max? Yeah, blame Yoda. That's right. Hashtag blame Yoda. Go uh, subscribe to Yoda. The dude is super smart. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got caught some of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I will never be a pro streamer. I might stream a lot, but I'll probably never be a professional. Uh, let's see. I got way behind. I missed something here. Let's see. I used you. Let's see. Carp is already crazy. Yeah, Carp, he's a pretty crazy guy. Man, I will go throw a whole stack of iron in the trash if somebody's like, calm down. <laughs> yeah, I'm here on first. I'm going to stream every night this week, probably, except for maybe on Thursday. We'll see what I do. But every night, Monday through Friday, I'm going to try to stream from here on out. Um, if I can just find stuff to do, it'll just be me doing random stuff like this and talking with chat. Um, I'm going to do videos, still do tech videos and stuff. I'm telling you right now, like I, I am full pedal of the metal on this, on everything here. Actual live stream, let's see. When will Exploit make a 2000 by 2000 perimeter fill every block with birch and then burn it? We don't burn birch on this server, buddy. We don't, we don't do that. I <laughs> use the villager breeder into nether and then push villagers into portal to drop them into the pods. I just put a lot of temp blocks up to get them. You can you can send them to the to the nether, but they don't grow up in the nether is the problem. If you're in the overworld and they're in the nether, they don't grow up. That's my biggest issue with the nether-based breeders currently. Now, previously in 1.14, if you sent them to the nether, man, it broke them. I, I really ran and raved against them, but you can do it now. It's fine. They just don't grow up. It just You just waste like 20 minutes. Throws iron and trash, don't care, but don't mind stuff with wrong tools. <laughs> Man, Carp's going to make me throw like like five stacks of iron in the trash. It'll be all his, completely completely his fault. All right, let's bring back up the game. Move my chat back to there. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I got behind and confused where chat was and stuff. And what did I? Oh, I, I said I was going to go get lava. I need to get buckets first. There's probably a chest full of buckets right there. we oh there's some buckets right there okay i need five buckets of lava so i'm going to take those and i'm going to go to the nether and i'm going to hope that i don't die because i don't have any gold armor on. The uh, I want to say the nether tunnels have come a long way. If you watch Dr. Jan's science stream, when uh, you guys taught him how to about how the nether update worked, this is the tunnel he dug. If you haven't watched that, go check that out as soon as I'm done streaming. After you watch his video about the burgeoning, man, I'm telling you, we had so much fun. <laughs> I knew they didn't get rid of all of it. I knew it. Awesome. This is better than I remember it being. That's awesome. I remember it looked awesome, but man, that is so awesome seeing it again. I don't even know if they've came out this far and seen it. Yeah, look how awesome that looks. If you haven't seen the burgeoning video that Dr. Jen Zion posted... For real, go check it out. We had so much fun. We made this server look so much better. Let's see. It won't directly corrupt your world. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Bad shovel is better for mining glass. Oh. Man, I'm way behind on chat again. I mine with silk pickaxe. I don't actually have any enchantments on my pickaxes. I need, I'm need. i working on setting up a trading hall and an iron farm. We exploit. I got behind because summer and family illnesses. And I didn't play for a long time. I got burned out. 
And then when ex when I got back into Minecraft, Exploit wasn't updated to the current update because they were working on some stuff. And I got super behind on Exploit. I am not going to lie. So what I have and what other people on Exploit have is not necessarily the same. And I don't want to just piggyback on their work. Whatever happened to Fist Cannon? Um, he's still around. He's uh, doing stuff. He quit uh, He quit Broke Rock. He quit uh, Advanced Automation. He pretty much quit most of the places he's playing. Uh, I'm friends with him. He's, he's a good dude. He's uh, I, I think he just got burned out. He just, he just wanted to... Uh, I think he just wanted to do something different. Do his own thing. Make sure my line. Let's see what's here. Here's the raid farm. I will do that when I come back. I come back and do that. I'm trying to remember where I can go down and get lava. I probably went the wrong way. Yeah, he quit a lot. He quit almost every Discord he's in. He's he's kind of just doing his own thing. And I'm telling you right now, like producing videos doing tech videos, doing research and just grinding and grinding. Man, it burns you out sometimes. And I understand that I got that way over the summer. I just got burned out and it's, it's easy to get burned out. Iron farm, mushroom, raid farm. All right. Here we are at spawn. As you can see, we, uh, we made a nice little tribute to Yodoff. How awesome he is. It goes all the way around. Now, I don't know if people have seen this. We posted it in like the private chat of uh, Exploit and Dr. James Ian has released his video about it. And it's fantastic, so go watch it. But yeah, this goes all the way around. That is so many birch blocks. I was certain when I saw those birch blocks back at... Oh, Dr. James Ian might have been grinding birch blocks. I was certain that they had burned it or cut it down or something when I saw those blocks. As you can see, the roof is off of this. Go check out Nexus' videos about that. He made a bunch of videos about removing the roof. They worked super hard on that. And we didn't update to 1.16 for a while because they were still working on that. Because that's been patched out in 1.16. But you can see there's no roof here. And I don't, I don't remember how big this is. It's like 80 blocks or something like that. It might even be bigger than that. So don't give me the line about how big that is, but man, that was so much work for those dudes. So yeah, good on them. It looks crazy. Nobody else has a, like a roof removed like this in the nether. You don't see that a lot of places. Hello, I'm a new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thank you for watching the stream. We, uh, we're trying to do crazy stuff. I'm just showing off some stuff around the exploit server. And we're finishing up the iron farm. Here we are in the perimeter. This is exploit perimeter. And there's a few farms here. A few little contraptions. Little redstone contraptions and stuff. But that's not why we came here. Because I don't care about redstone. Boom. Look how great that looks. Look at that birch. Look how fantastic that looks. Bye. See you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I gotta go. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, yeah, look how fantastic. Look how fantastic that looks. Like I said, go check out Dr. Jen Sian's video. It's much better than me, me walking around showing you. Because we had a ton of fun. They used the snow method when it worked in 1.14. They actually developed flying machines that would just take the bedrock right off. It was crazy. Like Rufus and Nex and uh, those guys are crazy smart. Like it's like they didn't break it one block at a time. That was taking a million years. I think it was called Project Snowbird. That might not be the correct name. Yeah, Kairu, that's right. Kyrie was in on that too. Thank you for reminding me. But yeah, they they did crazy. That was craziness. Here is the masterpiece of this whole thing. 
That's right. It's a birch pyramid. Here is the other iron farm. It was built by Yodolf. And I don't know if it actually even functions anymore because it's primarily just trading. He has trades set up all the way, like not all the way around, but pretty good, pretty good distance around. So I don't know if it actually spawns golems anymore or not. It did initially. It was the initial first iron farm on it, exploit, but he set up crazy amounts of trades and stuff. This is the trading hall that we are using. I don't use it, but there's a breeder. It's just the same kind of what I was using out there in the ocean. I wonder how I get up there. Oh, he probably flies up there. I don't have an elytra. I don't, uh, I haven't gone in raiding. And they've offered me elytras and stuff. It's not that I count don't have access to an elytra. I just, I choose not to use them. Hmm. I don't know how to get down there then. Hey, remember that part where I said I don't need a shovel? How funny that is, right? But yeah, this this was so many birch blocks, so many. I can't remember like a couple of shulker scrolls or something like that. I have to be careful out here in the desert because we have husks sometimes. Nope, only exploit, really? Let's see. Mm, what we see on Broke Rock? No, this is not Broke Rock. This is exploit. I'm on a lot of servers. It, um... Oh, look at there. There's our lava. We don't even have to go back in the nether. How convenient is that? Okay. Excellent. We got where we came for. Yeah, you never know when a, like a husky is going to sneak up on you. So, sorry. Whoa. I would be remiss if I didn't kill these guys. I'm not sure what happened here. Probably a creeper or something, probably. And then these guys just piled up here. That's the problem with Drown, man. I have a love-hate relationship with these guys. I mean, it's great. I love Tridents. They are they are probably one of the best things to be added to Minecraft in a long time. But man, zombies turn into Drown suck because they, they just pile up in these little pools sometimes. Let's see. Yeah, 1.16 despawn. The problem is, I think that those guys get persistence when they change, which was, I mean, the whole despawning. Oh, crap. We almost, man, I don't think we fixed that correctly. I think it was one block over. I think during the burgeoning, we messed that up. Well, whatever. I'll get it. Let's see. Uh, You'll have the exploit discord link. I don't think I'm on it. It is linked in about every other discord that I can imagine. It should be in the description of the video also. Oh no, sir. I don't like that at all. Did he hit anything? Did he blow up anything? I'm telling you, gas are terrible right here. I I don't know, I don't know why they're so terrible, but they are. I don't know if the biome changed. We didn't reset the nether, just so everybody's clear. I don't know if the biome changed, and that's why they're so bad, because maybe this is a Basalt Delta or Salt Sand Valley or whatever it is. Why isn't it working? Why isn't what working? Why is it what working? Oh, hate drown. Let's see. Super annoying drown are always stalking me. Let's see. It didn't 
block last time I sent link. I don't know. Let me let me just click your name and see what it says here. It says you're still a mod, so um, let's see. No, I don't know. I'm not sure why though. I I believe the link to the exploit Discord is in the description of the video though. You believe it's it's nether waste? I don't know. Well, we didn't reset the nether, but that doesn't mean the biomes didn't change. Just the blocks didn't change. Like, when there's an update to world generations, the biomes will change, even if the blocks don't. Uh, spawner, we don't need that. We might go grind bones there later, though. Exploit logo isn't on screen anywhere. That is not true right now. I know for sure that's on the screen. Oh. Okay. Apparently, I put it behind... Thank you. I put it behind the uh, game capture. My bad. When I set this up. That's my bad. Thank you. I was like, I know for sure I set that up. Thank you for pointing that out. Yes. That is the exploit look. No wonder people didn't know what to start around on. There aren't any links in the description. That is, that is not true either. Fine. I will go find the link to this thing. Let's see. Open up Discord. I will post it right here in the chat. You guys are not going to see that? What's up, man? Last exploit video, there is the link. Yeah, in the last video, for sure, there's a link. But I am going to bring the link up right now. Let's see. Exploit. Exploit links. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Scroll down. I put Broke Rock. I put exploit and advanced automation. All the members, all the links, all the everything down in the description. To be automatically put in videos. Let's see, exploit server through this link. Okay, copy link. All right, let's jump out of that. Let's bring up chat. Let's hit paste. Boom. There you go, there's the link. All right, let's get back to this. Join the Discord, hang out, meet everybody. Everybody there is super friendly. You can meet Navy Nexus. He's super awesome. Nice guy. Don't ping him a ton, ton of times. He hates that. Can you pin it or something? Man, I don't even know. Let me just see what I can do about it. I can remove it. Nope. That's all I can do is I can remove it. I don't know. I'll learn how YouTube works one of these days. I have noticed that we don't get a lot of uh, picklins or hoglins or anything in these in these hallways. I haven't seen any. Bye, Paul. Um, hello again. I don't think so. Yeah, people are worried about me becoming a professional streamer. That's never going to happen. You can give that dream up. I really thought I'd wrap this up in an hour. I said, that's the problem with me. I get to rambling around and like talking to chat and which is fantastic. I don't, I'm not complaining. I, uh, I enjoy the company. So I thought he quit. You thought he quit. We have no idea what biome that is. I don't know. I better put this food in the food chest for Dr. Dan Cyan. He'll be mad if I throw it away. One of these is the food chest. Here we go. We will need two buckets for water. And let's store the rest of this iron in case we accidentally die or do something dumb. Okay. I think we are ready to finish the iron farm. 
what time is it there? You you in the States? Yeah, I'm in the States. I'm in uh, Texas. It is 10.25. No, 10.26. Central Standard Time. S-E-N-T-R-A-L. Standard Central Time. In case uh, Centronet's watching. Uh, all old nether generation is nether waste. I don't think that's true. I don't think it is. Your biomes can change even if it's an old part of the world. The underlying biome can. It doesn't mean that the blocks will change, but the biomes can absolutely change. Uh, no, I'm not a manual. No, I can confirm who that is. That's the mayor of uh, the advanced. Hang on a second. I got to sneak. Yeah. Wow, that was, I'm sorry for anybody using headphones, but man, that happened so fast. The, um, he is not a manual plays. He is the mayor of the advanced automation, uh, fan realm. Oh, I didn't get signs. Man, you guys are failing. You guys are not reminding me to get stuff. Yeah, you guys are failing hard. He's the mayor of the, uh, advanced automation fan realm. Man, I should make you a, a mod too. Let's see. Click that. Add moderator. Yeah, I'm going to add you, man. You're a pretty good guy. You're in a lot of the streams, so maybe Case Carp misses one day or something. I don't know his line. Don't, do, don't get all crazy about banning people or nothing. I think I have it set up where they can't swear, but you never know. People find ways around, so. We all just got infected. Yeah, for real. I have terrible allergies, man. When it rains and stuff and the grass starts growing, I have terrible allergies. I was born out in the desert, out out in the west, and when I moved east, I, I got terrible grass allergies, so. Who knows? Grass allergy, coronavirus could be anything. You never know. Let's see, I need four, seven, ten, I need 43, four, and I need so many signs, I'm just going to take these, I'm going to take these sticks too, and I'm going, I better have a crafting table in here, well, even if I don't, I'll just make a crafting table, it'll be fine. Let's see. I listen to stream while testing farms. Yeah, I do that. I mean, I don't. I watch YouTube videos and I watch. Uh, I hate, I don't watch anime, but I watch adult cartoons. Lately, I've been watching the Thundercats from the nineteen eighty five on Hulu. That's what I've been watching lately. That's before most of your time, but I didn't notice that. Let's see. Let's see, I'll probably miss something. I really watch streams. I It depends on who's streaming, man. I I vibe with certain people's personality, and I'll just get into it. And It really, really depends on who's streaming. Okay, well, that didn't work out. I was kind of hoping to avoid putting a sign like right here. And then we'll come out, we'll go one. Oh, we didn't. Crafting table. Let's put our crafting table right here. Make some oak planks. We need a bunch of signs. We need more than that. Okay, that should be pretty good. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then we'll come in like this, two, three, 
you guys have seen me do this a thousand times. I'm sorry I'm not looking at chat, but I'm, I'm kind of concentrating on what I'm doing. Like I said, I, uh, I try not to stream past midnight, so I'm trying to wrap this up before then. Plus, I need to uh, work on some raid farm stuff. Which, I mean, I can do after midnight, but I gotta sleep sometime, right? I used to be young like you guys, and I'd go, oh, I'll sleep when I'm dead. But no, now I'll sleep at night like a normal person, because I'm old. All right, that should be that. Let's go up top and do the top ones, which I know we have to jump all the way down here and then we have to go back up and counting with the whole guy. Yeah, man, you are like, yeah, I didn't have to use my fingers. Counting burner. I'm a, despite what people say, I am not a robot. Yeah, golems won't need to fit in there. Never mind. Golems will go there to die. That is what golems will do there. I am going to stack up a couple of blocks there. Okay, what was I going to do? Oh, I know what I was going to do. Oh, I can't use that. I need a non-flammable block. Well, we'll just have to use a sign. I was going to say... We don't need so many signs, but I messed that up and we're going to need a ton of signs. So, I only need to come out one, two, three from here. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can see there are way less cats than there usually are. For 20 beds, we would have a bunch of cats, but cats don't spawn in the same way in, the, in this current update that they used to. All right, how many signs can we make? I have to make a stack there, but that. Okay. So we did one, two, then we'll do one more. I apologize for ignoring chat for a moment, but you have to uh, really look at the edge of this to uh, get it right. And especially since I'm using a controller. It's a little more difficult for me. But honestly, this is the best lava blade you're going to find. Alright. Ooh, I almost started adding lava. We want to add water first. Okay, where was I going to with this? Oh, I don't have any... Sad noises, man. We're going to use some ugly. Y'all don't tell anybody, but I'm going to have to use some, some really ugly uh, oak wood here. Don't tell anybody, though. Nobody will see this, so don't don't be spreading it around that I used oak, oak wood. I'll come back and fix this later. I feel so bad about that. Terrible. I feel dirty. I feel dirty using oak. Oak is only good for signs and sticks. But and stuff like that. Put it in your furnace. Hopefully Dr. Jan Cyan left the chat already in his at work or something. Just so everybody knows he's a he's a model. That's what he does for a living. Oh, oh, I'm totally ignoring chat. Let me let me finish this water stream right here, and then I'll get back to chat. My apologies. 
let's see. Let's bring chat over to the main screen so I can catch up. Screen one. Let's see. Let's see. Bye. Bye, Taco. I didn't even know Taco was in chat. My bad, Taco. I'll apologize to him later. I, uh, that makes me a terrible person. Later, Taco. He's a member of uh, Advanced Automation. Carp also. Wolf Tamer here. He's the he's the mayor, like I said. So many advanced automation guys here. Let's see. A board counting with Oga. Count binary. Dang, I'll have to hop off. 30 minutes. Yeah, I'll probably be finished in about 30, 45 minutes. Something like that. Oak scaffolding is obvious temporary. Yeah, yeah, that's that's I'll cut down those oak blocks. Wait, that's illegal. Use crafting table, it's not burnable. That is correct. I didn't think about that. Well, whatever. Wait, but oak signs, oh god, come on. That is the only acceptable use for oak. Crafting table is flammable, is it? That sounds like a great test we'll do here in just a minute. But it won't burn, just not burnable. I thought it doesn't burn. Let's see where we at. Rip oak band, using gold farm stay light, but won't burn up. Why not use birch signs? I don't use birch for trivial things. Let's see. I'm telling DJZ, do not tell Dr. Jan Zion. Hopefully he's at work. I'll I'll rip those out before you can find them. Hail gun. A forest, a forest. Uh, I think he is both. Nope, model. Yeah, he's a model. Yeah. He, uh, he very much resembles Dr. Uh, um, I can't say. I don't want to say who he looks like. His skin is uh, Dr. Phil from the Dr. Phil show, but that's not what he looks like. Thought Dr. Jens Hyan was a scientist. He is a doctor. A he has a doctorate, but he is also a model. He's a TV therapist and model, and also a crime fighter. Ooh, message deleted. Mm, I sure hope that wasn't something terrible, buddy. Oh, timed out, bro. You sell it down there, Dr. Newbie Noob. Man, you, you got if you got timed out by carp, you must have done something. I don't know what you did, but sell it down. For sure, settle it down. Sorry about getting behind the chat. One more time, I need to open pop chat back up where I can read it. All right. Yeah, don't let's just keep this our little dirty secret right here about these uh about these uh, oak blocks. I'm gonna come back in and put a birch or something there, but for the time being, let's just keep that our dirty little secret. Uh, we don't gotta run off and tell Doctor Jansai and everything. What he don't know, don't hurt him. Also, don't don't be telling him I told y'all he's a model. He's he hates that. Let's see where we at. Uh, I'm really trying to concentrate because the water will push me into the uh, center, and I don't want to fall through the hole. So I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Let's see. Oh, look at those. Man, I'm gonna have to go find some real blocks because. I just realized that I'm going to have to put blocks up here to block the water in. Uh, let's see. We are going to live with that for now. Let's add the lava. And make sure we did it correctly. Otherwise, we're going to have a whole bunch of cobblestone. And a whole bunch of fires. Look at that. Perfect. That burned up. Goodbye, Mr. Cat. Hasta luego. Happy trails. Look, you can go... Well, I was going to try to knock you into the water or knock you down on the lower level, but... You just weren't having it. That's fun. I uh, I feel so bad because I didn't bring the proper blocks. I, I blame one of you guys, actually. Oh, that is not what I want to do. Man, I'm just going to jump off and go get some blocks. Because I need them for down here, too. Let's see. Poor man, this really... 
good arm form he is making. Yeah. Or oh, people, people are vicious and rude in the chat, man. Let's see. My glasses are steamed up. Not if the water is placed correctly. Won't it make an infinite water source? No, it won't make an infinite water source. You can see how to make this water source in several of my videos. Um, to make it clear, do not use bul Yeah, do not use bulgar language. Obviously, do not use bulgar language. It's YouTube, buddy. You can't you can't do something like that. Um, poor man, this is really good iron farm he's making. Yeah, this is a great iron farm. It's very simple. It's very it's very easy to make. Anybody can make it. I uh I have some more complicated stuff, but this is really simple. Using birch intentionally, it's the best block, and of course it's the best block. Oh, guys, animal abuse confirmed. Man, I tried to bump that cat into the water, and I tried to bump him to the lower level, and he just wasn't having it. Let's see. I'm not going to get into all that. I'm not using random blocks. I'm using birch, man. The birch best block. This is high quality, bro. Oh, we're not going to use wool. Let's see. I feel like there was more, sh more shulkers here earlier. Like maybe I imagined those or something. So now we have a high quality block here. We can, we can finish this thing. Oh, Dr. Jan Cyan joined. No wonder. See, I didn't even see him join the game. I must have been looking at chat or something. What's up, Dr. Jan Cyan? Hopefully you're still in the stream. Did he, did he wave up? Oh, there he is right there. Okay. We should say hi to him. If you are in chat, put F's in the chat for Dr. Jan Cyan. We're going to well, send him a message. He really is a good dude. He, um... Oh, he put this here. This is him. He's a netherrack guy. <laughs> Look at that. I'm telling you, but he is, he is a good dude. He helps all the time. I'm going to break this with this block right here just to make carp all crazy. Because he wants me to use my fist. He loves, he loves when I punch blocks with my fist. That's his, that's his jam. He's like, oh, oh God, use your fist more. He, he loves my, <laughs> look at that. I knew, I knew there were shulkers. I knew there were shulkers missing. I knew it. I will say playing Minecraft and starting a YouTube channel and, just all of that, man. I have met some like crazy good people. It, if I have one suggestion for you, it's uh, start your YouTube channel, join the discords, meet people. You will meet, don't get me wrong, you will meet some absolutely people that you just don't want to be around. And just don't hang around. And wow, voice crack there. Um, just don't hang around those people. Just meet you some good people. I used to watch Dr. Jan Cyan's videos when I was on, just hanging out on Reddit. I didn't know anybody from the community. I would just bother anybody that I thought knew anything about anything. And I didn't know anything about the tech community. I didn't know about advanced automation. I didn't know about Broke Rock. I didn't know about, uh, well, I mean, Exploit didn't even exist at the time. I didn't, I didn't know about these places. And, you know, a lot of it wasn't shared publicly. And, uh, so I didn't know about these places. I didn't, I just, I just knew about a few people that I watched online. Um, people like or TV, people like GMO heaven, people like Dr. Jens, I am. And I, um, so like when I was introduced to the tech community, man, like it was, it was crazy how nice everyone is grinding some nether stuff, making sure you use the right blocks. See, keeping me on my toes, man. What a good dude. Yeah. You would be surprised how nice everyone is in the tech community. 
I know that people get a, a people have differing opinions on who's nice and who's not. But I'm telling you, for the most part, most of the YouTubers, most of the tech community, they are just super nice people. They're just dudes like you. They just play Minecraft and they just put their pants on both legs at the time, just like you do. The um, so yeah, I recommend you join all the discords. I recommend you just hang out and meet people and play with people. It doesn't have to be on exploit. It doesn't have to be on advanced automation. It could be on any server that anybody will let you have a shot at. I happen to play on those, but you don't have to. Oh, I'm not going to. What am I doing with my life? I know how this works. Let's see. Oh, I did. Oh, I have the shulkers. That's right. I was going to say, I do not have enough blocks for this, but luckily somebody brought me a couple shulkers for the boxes. I mean, I could use the logs, but man, let's just all admit the blocks are so much superior. We're about to fall off there. Look at that. Dr. Jan Cyan saving the day. But like I said, I didn't know anything about the, the tech community. I wasn't part of it. I I just hung out on Reddit and harassed anybody that even showed slight knowledge about anything. I would just send them stuff that I was working on. I would just be like, hey, I built this dumb thing right here. Can you take a look at it? You would be surprised how how nice everyone in the community is. I mean, they could have been like, get away from me. I'm... I'm a famous YouTuber or whatever, and, but man, I'm telling you, people are so nice. You have no idea. People like Or TV, people like Dr. Jan Cyan, people like uh, Zone of Chef, they all like this were so nice to me when I joined. I know everyone thinks that I've always been an iron farmer, but I, I knew nothing about iron farms when I joined the tech community. What in the world? Oh, we must have some kind of block lag or something. Don't tell me I'm going to have to jump in the ocean and get water. Because I totally will. Oh, that is awful. There it goes. Wow, we're... I don't know what Dr. Jen Sain's doing, but he's creating block lag like crazy. Oh, it's because he's in the nether. We're in two dimensions. Well, we'll just jump off and get our own water. That is going to take forever, just saying. Well, let's check chat. I'm way behind. My glasses are all fogged up because it's so humid. Uh, let me pause this real quick. Hopefully nothing kills me. Let's see. Birch, bad. Oh, good. Are you kidding me with that, man? <laughs> Oak is not good. Oak is for sticks. How much iron do you think these two iron farms are going to make? Approximately about seven, between 750 and like 770, somewhere around there. No, you don't have to ban him for misinformation. That's fine. They can be wrong. We all know that they are wrong. They are free to have terrible opinions. Birch, or nothing. that's right. Birch or nothing, man. Birch or go home. Do you want nine subs? Do I want nine subs? Uh, I appreciate every sub I get. I don't do this for subs, and I don't do it for money. I do it because I enjoy it. Um, I I stream because I enjoy talking to people. That copy designs get famous more than the ones who originally made them. That has everything to do with the algorithm and. Certain people know how to play it, and some people don't, and I am a person that doesn't, and 
I I just design Iron from side I enjoy it. I got into villages and I really enjoy doing stuff with them. <laughs> I should make use of the rifle, man. You, you might have to fight me. <laughs> I uh, I don't have. I am the worst person in the world about eating. And thank you. You love my YouTube videos. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, I meant to show the. I meant to show the uh, chat while I'm reading it. My bad. Uh, why don't I have God gear? Cause I, I haven't set up the trading hall yet. Um, a lot of people on the, on the server do have God gear and I just don't cause I'm trying to play. I'm trying to be self-sufficient rather than rely on other people's work. I, um, we are working on iron farms. We're working on trading halls. We're setting all that up. I got real burned out over the summer and I just got uh, where I didn't play for a while. And then, uh, 1.16 came out and, uh, they didn't upgrade the server because they were still working on roof stuff. And I just didn't play on exploit for several months. So I got behind and I, I'm trying to play catch up now. I'm trying to double the iron output here. Um, before you had to YouTube become a family friendly. I don't uh, swish. I guess Christian, I guess is what you meant to say. Uh, there's no reason to put villagers in a ticking area. Unless you're going to like do crop farms or something. Because you won't spawn golems in a ticking area. Are you going to make the 10 times iron farm? Yes, but I'm going to make an upgraded version of it. It's 11.42 a.m. in our country. Well, you must be on the opposite side of the earth. Because it's 10.53 here. It's obvious joke. I mean, poor man. Okay, I read all that up there. F, that's right. It's all about crafting tables. Do you get lit on fire, but don't burn. He should make you use the right... <laughs> Yes, everyone is good. Yeah, I've had very few bad experiences with community members. Uh, ban you for information. Let's see. Fungus tree kind of hard. Just cover pistons with obsidian and use honey blocks. Um, we have a manual uh fungus tree farm down below. If name mobs are in mob cap, I may make my epic chicken cooker. I do believe that named mobs are still counted towards the mob cap. Only villagers are not. My issue is wither cage should break the fungus trees. Wither cages, man. I have a love hate relationship. Now that I'm caught back up on chat. Sorry, man. I'm having trouble reading chat for tonight on my second monitor because my glasses are steamed up. I don't really know why, but they just are. I guess it's the humidity and stuff. So occasionally from time to time, I'm just going to catch up on chat like that. Um, I've been testing it all day. I have not tested it since early 1.16. And at that point in time, named mobs did count towards the cap. So I don't know if your experiences are different than that. But that is my current experience. As far as I know, named mobs still do count towards the cap. And block lag. That's terrible. I cannot afford to go up and down. Oh, no way, man. Oh, that is murdering me. Ooh, we almost we almost hit the ground right there. I guess we're just going to go up and down a billion times, so enjoy that. Um, let's see. It's also AA and that many moms is a lot of lag. Yeah, let's see. I wish they didn't. Yeah, I wish I wish name tag mobs didn't. They don't on Java, so uh, you know we don't really get the good parody. We only get P A R O D Y. We get the joke parody. We only get stuff taken away. Yeah, mobs don't count towards the mob cap if they have a name tag on Java. Yeah, make minute. Yeah, make infinite water source. Okay, but I that's obviously not working because the block lag, man. Like, you see that, right? This right here should be an infinite source. Any of these source blocks should be an infinite source. Now, watch when I place this. That should fill in. We're we're suffering block lag right now. And I don't know if, see, do you see that? 
that shouldn't that should just be infinite water source. But it's not because of block lag, because of of one point sixteen point two or whatever the update is, and it, you just have to deal with it sometimes. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. What are you gonna do? The server itself is not laggy. Occasionally you run into block lag. It just is what it is. Place blocks in front of the source. I will create an infinite water source. We'll we'll just test this theory out. I'm telling you right now, it's block lag, and I don't think that's going to work. Let's see. I'll create an infinite water source. If, if you think that'll be better. All right. Block there. Block there. Okay. I guess I'm a dirty liar. Never mind. I stand corrected. I'm not sure why that doesn't work over there. Why it doesn't create a source block right there. It does sometimes. What are you going to do? Thank you for correcting me. That is much faster than dropping down every time. See, you see that? That, uh, that just made a, a water source right there. But see, that didn't. Now explain that one. Explain why that worked and that didn't. Who knows? Yeah, riddle me that one, Batman. Let's see. Let's see what chat has to say. They probably know why. Let's see. Not block lag. It totally is block lag. I actually tried YouTube in 2016 and realized I hate video editing. Video editing is the worst. You are correct. This button now. I'm really into Minecraft. You don't even have to be in YouTube. Just play Minecraft. Join the discords. Meet people. Play with them. You don't have to have a YouTube channel. I do. I started this to prove I was right on a discord as a place to upload videos so that I could prove I was right about stuff and it just blew up and now I have a YouTube page and I mean a YouTube channel and uh, it has opened a lot of doors for me but you don't need a YouTube channel you don't want one don't make one just join the discords and uh, meet people there are a lot of servers especially technical servers all kinds of stuff you don't need a YouTube channel There are a ton of good people that you don't even know their name that are out there playing, that are looking for other cool people to play with. Be a good person. Build cool stuff. That's pretty much it. Just be a good person. Now watch this one. Watch. Now, why does that work? People, people can say that's not blog lag all you know, they want to, but that's block lag. Like the block is not updating correctly. Well, the good news is the thunder has stopped. It is still raining. I can hear it. You probably cannot because my mic is terrible. Even though I have tried to buy a Blue Yeti in the last couple of weeks. Apparently, everyone in the world is trying to buy a Blue Yeti also. And they are sold out pretty much everywhere in the world. Unless you're willing to pay black like double. See, this is it. I don't even have an expensive microphone. Let's see. Glad I'm not alone. 
Man, I'm way behind on chat again. Like I said, man, the humidity is like, you can tell it's set in because it's raining. I, um, I'm going to bring up chat again because I'm way behind. I, I hate getting behind on chat. I really like talking to the chat. Let's see. It's flowing to the lowest point. No, man, it's block laying. Uh, let's see. I want to do montages of cool things I built, but I don't know how to edit at all. Here's the thing. You can watch a YouTube video and learn how to edit. I did. You have awesome advice. Thank you so much. Yes, but they aren't as good. I don't think. I don't think what's as good. It takes path of least resistance. Man, I have done this so many times. It, that That's not. Let's see. Yes, but they aren't as good. I don't think. Yes. You Are you really an old man? Yes, I'm really an old man. 43. My birthday was today. Turned 24. Happy birthday. So, you know, I thought you said Iron Farms. Oh, guys, in his 40s. That's right. Read the chat. We've explained it like 10 times. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> the water on the corner is also flowing in two directions, so it combines. I wish PS4 had realms. I do not understand why they don't. I thought when Sony gave in and allowed Bedrock to be on PlayStation that they had learned their lesson and committed to cross-platform play, but they have not. You can place that all 100% at Sony's feet. Me and my buddies have huge server kind of like Hermitcraft. See, right here. There's a ton of people out there that are playing, and you don't know their names. By Wolf, see you later. See you later, Wolf. Sorry I didn't finish in time for you to see the end. PS5 will have cross-play. Hopefully, we will see. Um, Sony really likes to keep everything under their control. And when you do cross-platform play, you kind of have to give up a little bit of that control and just trust your community. You see it with Nintendo. I never thought it would come to Nintendo. They are one of the most hardcore about children's security and privacy and stuff like that of any of the console manufacturers. More than Xbox, more than PlayStation. Nintendo has always done weird online stuff to prevent people from talking to each other to keep any weirdness from happening. Their, their online stuff has always been so bizarre. So if Nintendo can get on board with it, Sony doesn't really have an excuse. They can't say it's for security or if it's for safety of children. None of that, none of that works. It is 100% because they don't want... For you to spend money on Xbox and then use that content on PlayStation. However, what they don't know is that you can also spend money on PlayStation and use that on Xbox. They don't see the forest for the trees. And it's very short-sighted on their part. And I really think it's going to hurt them in the next generation. I mean, Microsoft has built a crazy, like a crazy uh, console. They uh, Xbox One Series X or whatever. Now I play on PC, but man, that thing looks like a monster. Cat, if you don't get in that water stream, buddy, I cannot be held responsible for what happens to you. I cannot be held responsible for your safety if you do not get in those water streams. Okay, let's do this the hard way. Look away, avert your eyes, everyone. Bad stuff is happening. Yeah, avert, avert your eyes. I tried, I tried to do it peacefully.
Okay, let's put some torches around because we don't want anything weird spawning up here. And then we will place the lava and we can get this party started. And then we have to add the workstations. And I think that's it. Oh, we need to add the collection system. Now, I said we weren't going to add a collection system, but we're just going to use the collection system for the bottom farm. Oh, see you later, Dr. Jansayan. Did he send me a message? Okay. I want to make sure I didn't miss a message or something from him because sometimes I get distracted with chat and everything going on. Oh, man, y'all are supposed to be reminding me to eat. Oh, I wasted that one. What? What? Oh, apparently I didn't waste it. I've dropped it back here. Mm. We are going to have to go get another lava source. Because we cannot have a three-sided lava blade. Okay, we're going to have to go get another lava bucket. Real quick, check up chat real quick. Let's see what everybody's talking about. Uh, let's see. I hate it when I accidentally delete the lava bucket. Yeah, that sucks, man. I should have got an extra one while I was there. By DJC, yeah. He's got male, male model business to go handle. He's got to get to work. He lives in uh, Europe. Uh, let's see. Yes, my world caused a lot of lag on Xbox One. Yeah, the uh, you got to remember the Xbox One, the the original Xbox One, and not the S and not the X and not you know, not the upcoming Series X and stuff. The original Xbox is getting a little little old. If you had a PC from, you know, eight nine years ago, however long it's been, it'd be a little long in the tooth too. Now I have huge builds and slowly getting into redstone. Yeah, I will unlikely to be getting into redstone. Maybe there's some lava downstairs. Sometimes when we've been doing a little mining and stuff, there's been some lava pools. But probably we'll have to go all the way back to spawn, probably. Oh, I didn't realize he hadn't left chat. I wasn't supposed to tell y'all that he's a male model. Oh, I think there's some lava over here. Maybe we won't have to go to, all the way to spawn. Hmm. Oh, I'm never going to be able to mine that. Let's just try digging from this side. Yeah. That's the good stuff right there. We'll go ahead and sleep the night away since we're the only person on right now. A lot of our players are uh, professionals. They uh, work during the daytime, and they, um, I mean, I work during the daytime too, but they, uh, they have families and stuff. And a lot of people are in Europe, and they don't have time to play right now. It's early in the morning for them. So it's not unusual for me to be online this time of day by myself. And we also don't have a lot of members. I can't remember what the official count is right now, maybe around 10. Looking forward to see what you are up to. Uh, I'm just going to finish the farm right now, and then I'll probably call it a night. I'm just going to add the workstations, and then uh, see some golem spawn, and then I'm going to add the collection system that dumps the drops to the bottom. All right. Let's go add the workstations, get this party started. We're going to waste a little bit of iron, but who cares? Now, 
Now, fortunately, we have to drop down again. If you want to see how any of this was built, I have a video that shows how it being built. It shows me moving the villagers. It shows me using the breeder. It shows me building the iron farm. It explains why the villagers were up here by themselves. I needed to move them in first. Oof, oof juice. I don't know what oof juice is. Now, a distinct change for 1.16 is... Is that you no longer need to add the water. You can just lock them in a one by one cell. Okay. Now who is going to claim this one? Is that you? Okay, excellent. And we, this shouldn't take very long to, to line all these up. And this is what it takes. You just need to make sure the correct villager has the correct workstation. So that he has access to it. Is that you, buddy? Are you the correct villager? Oh, I missed it by one. See? Oh, I can't reach that. Okay, I guess I will figure out how to get that in just a minute. Let's hope it doesn't despawn, right? I uh, can't look at chat right now because I'm on a timer to get that barrel. Oh, I'm never going to get that barrel. I'm just going to live with that, that I'm going to have to go make another barrel. If I had like silk touch or something, I would break the glass and chance it and stuff like that, but... I don't. All right, you guys told me it was sticks and slabs. We actually should start seeing... Oh, look there. Iron Golem's already spawning. Because at least 75% of the villagers have worked. So, let's get the blocks and the extra barrel we need to finish this project up. And we might even do a little trading because we have so much fish. And Dr. Jan saying that guy builds incredible guardian worms. We, uh, we have so much fish. All those chests are full of fish. We don't have a lot of like high-tech farms over here currently because, like I said, we got so far behind. I'm going to put all our good wood up here because the chances are that I die accidentally and lose all this stuff is very high at all times. So I'm going to put that up there so we don't lose it because we would be big sad. We'd be big sad if I lost that. All right, I have sticks and I have how much planks do I have? Oh, I don't have any planks. Well, I don't have any planks. Oh, I do have planks. Okay. I, I never look for oak planks. Barrel. Okay. I mean, eventually I'll haul some fish up there and store them in all the barrels and stuff so that we can just have our, our stuff up there to trade with we should make an item elevator like, a, like tap into this bubble column and just have like a dispenser shoot fish up to us okay we 
we will go down one more time. We will use these birch blocks. Okay, let's go to the very center of the farm. Look at that. Boom. Let's make this three wide. I know this is kind of ugly, and I, I really need a better method, but for right now, this is going to be, this is going to work, and it's going to be just temporary. But I'm going to have the drops drop here, and then I'm going to funnel them over past there and drop them back into the other farm. That is the plan for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I probably could have built this out of glass, but I didn't. I apologize for not reading chat, but we are very close to being done. And that will drop in there like that. They will get filtered into the same drop. And how does the saying go? Bob's your uncle? And if we AFK at the Guardian Farm, we'll be able to activate both Iron Farms. This was never meant to be a long-term Iron Farm project. However, it is meant to be a pretty decent Iron Farm. So we want to activate both of these at the same time. Oh, we definitely need to light this up because we are under blocks here. Okay. Now we're too far to activate that farm now. Okay. Let's go back upstairs and see it working uh, one more time. Yeah, congratulations, Carp. He uh, is a new member of Advanced Automation. Many people here in chat, including myself and Dr. Jan Cyan, are also members. Look at that. Look at that iron farm just working. I said, we have a much bigger, much larger, much higher capacity iron farm planned. However, we just wanted a good supply of iron farm to get going. And I wanted to make it out of birch just to prove I could. I wanted to build one underwater just to prove I could. This is kind of a, just to show that I can do stuff. It's really not that hard. Iron farms are not that hard. They are really good in 1.16. Anyone that tells you that they're hard or they, you need to do something crazy to make them work, that's not true. They just work. Iron farms are in good place. We don't need scare mechanics. We don't need any of that. Iron farms are great. So that's done. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to get done around here right now? 
Let me bring up chat real quick. Catch up on chat. What time is it? Oh, it's 11.20. Well, we're, we got a few minutes. I just visited Raid Farm on AA for the first time. It's awesome. Yeah, I just, I just repaired it from the 1.16.2 debacle just on Sunday. It, uh, it is quite bright. I should make a video showing it. I might when I do the new uh, Raid Farm video that I have planned. Let's see. Scroll chat up. You guys can see chat, right? Yeah. Uh, he could break the blocks next to the cells. I could break the blocks next to the cells. I could do that. Previous Iron Farm old guy said no farms, no fishermen, and no librarian or cleric. That is correct. I did say that. However, I don't care if I my rates are low during rain. I don't care. I want to trade the fish. We have so much fish and we aren't going to eat it. We need to trade it for emeralds. I put gas paints instead of blocks in front of villagers and walk away one block higher. Yeah, I mean, how you how you work it out exactly is fine. Wait, fishermen don't work in rain or do they? They don't work in rain. You can put a solid block over their workstation and they will work. Oh, Carp said all that right there, okay. Uh, then why using fishermen? I'm using fishermen so that I can trade fish. Just simply for that reason. I don't care if the, if the rates are lower during the rain. Block sky access, giving them no excuse to slack off. Uh, only 10 villagers on two farms works good enough. Yeah, it works good enough. That's the minimum. I'm not trying to put 100 uh, villagers next to a guardian farm. I'm not trying to lag the server and make everyone hate me. Let's see. Why not use planks? This is so expensive. Bro, we got we got wood to burn over here, man. We're the birch buddies. Good thing you made it with birch, and that will be... That's right. That's, that is approximately the correct number. I'm going to go work on homework. See you later, everyone. Bye, oh God. Bye. Uh, right here, Jungle Papoozle. He actually goes by Force Papoozle on the Advanced Automation Realm and Discord. He's a member of uh, Advanced Automation also. See you later, buddy. A Mega Exploit Scale Chicken Cooker. By Force. He, I thought you just went by Force. Maybe I'll see Raid Farm when I'm available for tour. You absolutely should see the Raid Farm. It is quite a sight to see. I can't remember how many hundreds of blocks it is tall. Like 200 blocks or something like that. Mm, yeah, villager mechanics are good the way they are now. They are absolutely great. And if they start messing with them, they will be absolutely terrible. We will be back to the dark days of 1.12, 1.13. We will regret asking for scare mechanics. I promise you. Yeah, they're way too easy. They are way unbalanced. Three villagers and a zombie should not eat equal a billion iron. That's that's insane. Kill half your villagers to find the... Get out of here with that carp. I, man, I will ban you so hard. There is no villager leader. There's no villager director. There's there's nothing special about any of the villagers. None of that is, is true. Ignore carp. I'm going to have to mute him. Bells go in lava. Everybody knows. That is the only use for a bell, is to throw it in lava. You used to could use them for stacked raid farms. You can't anymore. You used to, I mean, some people make monostable circuits out of them. I don't. I don't do redstone. Yeah, we have so much fish. We have so much fish. That's why we wanted to create an iron farm full of uh, fishermen so we could trade all that fish. Because we aren't going to eat it and we... There's nothing else to do with it except throw it in the trash. But if we can trade it for emeralds, then that's fantastic. And because of the new trade mechanics, you can trade 12 times. So, you know, you can trade 12 times per 10 villagers twice a day. You can trade like 240 times a day. So, that's pretty good. pretty good use of fish. Uh, let's see. But yeah, you are correct. The fishermen don't work in the rain, and, but I don't, I don't care about this iron farm. That the rates might be slightly lower occasionally. I'm not even sure why we we're doing this anymore. We started this pre 1.16 when you couldn't get the um, nether wart block easily, but now you can get it. I probably will just tear this out. 
we really wanted to build with nether warp blocks so we just built this real quick to um we didn't want to build up like crazy machine where we have to like sim tick them with a roller coaster and all that i probably am not going to replant those i however will replant these because i use them for breeding and i will be building a much larger breeder a much faster breeder because we will be building a gigantic ironworm. I already have permission from Nex. He doesn't care. He doesn't care how, how big the iron farm is. He doesn't care how much it lags. He doesn't care about any of that. He said, do it. I said, okay. <laughs> what a good dude. He, he was just like, I don't care. Just do whatever you got to do. Build the biggest iron farm you can. I said, all right. So that will be upcoming videos. Possibly building it on streams. I'm about to wrap this up. It's getting late in the day. I thought I'd have a little more time to work on videos, but that'll have to wait for tomorrow. Plus, I could always use an extra hour of sleep or so. Join me tomorrow. I'll be back on Broke Rock streaming. Probably just grinding out some areas. I have a couple of uh, things I need to decorate. I'm going to work on some tunnels, that kind of thing. Thank you for watching the stream. Thank you for hanging out. Go down, check out any links that are in the video. There should be links, but people tell me there are not. I don't know if I believe that or not. Um, check out the links. Look at Yodolf trying to bribe us with all this gear. We don't want your dirty gear. I throw my seeds and stuff in here because I, I um, compost them later. Let's see what else hmm. oh that's fine that can just save my inventory but yeah we um dr jan cyan built this awesome slime farm and it's not even the only one there's a ton of slime farms there used to be a tunnel somewhere where was the tunnel at oh wait, you have to go up that's right he, he built a crazy complex system of tunnels and slime farms and just I don't know very many people that I have as much fun playing Minecraft with as Dr. Jens I am. He doesn't. Man, I'm probably going to die if I jump down there and I don't know if I can get out. Let's do it anyways, right? Oh, <laughs> rip. Oh, thank God we have these worthless blocks. Like oak. I'll just set that on fire later. I knew he set a trap. I knew that looked suspicious. I knew it looked suspicious. You can't you can't trust him. One of these tunnels leads to the to the additional slime farms. There's a bunch of slime farms around here. Of course there's a wandering trader down here. Why wouldn't there be? I'm going to stop lying and say there's a tunnel leading to the slime farms because apparently there's not. I thought there was, but there used to be. Maybe he filled it in. I don't know. Now we're hopelessly lost. I wish I hadn't lost the footage to the Weirdtopia stuff he did. Because it was, it was completely insane. There are not a lot of players like him. He genuinely has fun playing Minecraft. He he doesn't do this for a job. He doesn't he does this because he likes playing Minecraft. He builds crazy stuff that doesn't always make sense. Because he just genuinely enjoys playing Minecraft. Let's see. Nothing is faster than Birch. That is correct. Birch is the fastest iron farm material. So now we have essentially doubled the iron production here. I don't, uh, let's see, I showed you the breeder that I've been using. I showed you the iron farms. I'm not going to show you that over there. Dr. Jan Science doing something. He, um, this is Birch Island where we get all, <clears throat> wow, my voice. 
Yeah, he's super epic. He's so... Oh, thank you for reminding me to eat. See, I tell you, I starve to death all the time. I literally do it all the time. This is why I cannot eat rotten flesh like Dr. Jensen, because I will literally die, because I never remember to eat. I have too many things going on. I'm playing, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. We measured this out to work with the AFK spot here. I'm telling you right now, I really like the red stripes he added. He added those within the last week or two, and man, it really makes it look better. He, um, yeah, here's the AFK spot. It activates the Guardian Farm. It activates the uh, Iron Farms. From here, you can activate both Iron Farms. You obviously can't see them because we're kind of far out. I had planned on building an Iron Farm there. And then, of course, up in the sky also as a quad style. This was before 1.16. And now I'm just going to abandon that and I'm going to build a fat stacks. But I'm going to build an improved version of it. So, like I said, I already had this built prior to 1.16. So I thought I would finish it because it didn't need a lot to become active and would double our iron production. But we're going to build, I don't know, probably out there somewhere. Maybe out there, I don't, I don't know. I have a couple of spots picked out. I have a place for a trading hall that I want to set up. I have some, some plans here in the future. Some stuff I'm working on. Man, I think he made the walkways wider. I used to be able to just jump out of here. I don't like using the ladder. I like jumping out into the water. But yeah, this is this is what we're working on. Um... Dr. Jan Cyan, he has some secret projects over there. You see that thing sticking up in the air? I'm not going to talk about it. Whenever he gets ready to talk about it, we will talk about it. This is what we're doing on Exploit. I'm going to build a, a super giant iron farm. I'm going to build a really incredible trading hall. Uh, we may do some raid farm stuff. Oh, I meant to show you the raid farm. Let's go look at the raid farm. I think it's still broken. What's up, hi? Hi, everybody. I don't I don't know if Yodolf has gotten on and Yodolf built it, I didn't build it. No, I'm not giving any spoilers. You can ask Dr. Jens Ian on the Discord if you want. Let's see. Back to spawn. This way right here, I don't want to talk about what's down there. Bunch of new tunnels and stuff leading out farther. We're not going to talk about that right now. The um, if you've seen my first exploit video, you know how how much improved these tunnels are, and you know how much better this looks now. I don't know. I don't know if Yodolf has seen this or not. I know he's seen the pyramid, and I know he's seen the giant Yodolf. It's it's nether spawn. I don't know. I don't know how much of it he's seen. We should go check out the raid farm. We did uh, pretty it up a little bit. We we made it better. We made it birch powered. Did I? Did I show the roof? Yeah, I showed the roof. I can show it again. We're headed that way. The um, Nex and Rufus Atticus and Kairu. I hope I'm saying that right. I mean, I'm on like two or three discords with that guy and, and we share a server and I'm, I'm probably not saying his name right. So He's awesome, dude. Smart. I mean, everybody on Exploit is super smart, super nice. Always helpful to people. Here's the raid farm. I'll show you the raid. Oh, we got a problem here. I'm telling you right now, don't fight these guys. Just run past them. Even if you take a little bit of damage. If you fight those, it's instant death, man. When they start splitting apart, you, you'll you be dead. Unless you just have top end gear and stuff. You're way better off just running past them. Mm, go get the diamond armor. 
Now, I'm trying to be self-sufficient, man. I'm I'm not trying to uh, just have everybody give me stuff all the time. I'm trying to set up all the stuff out there I need to trade for diamond armor. I'm not opposed to diamond armor and diamond tools and stuff like that. I just like to do it myself. As you can see, we didn't actually mess with the raid farm. We just helped improve it. Everywhere there was a torch, we put a, a uh, birch block. I personally think it looks much better. I mean, he had no birch here, and he he's right next to this forest full of birch trees. And he didn't have any birch here. Shame on Yodolf. Yeah, we don't, we don't mine, mine, we don't do that. We build a farm. We build a trading hall. We do something, we have trading hall at spawn. I just don't use it. I'm Like I said, I'm trying to be self-sufficient. Yeah, this is crazy. It, um, I, uh, he has a, like a weird system here where he splits like the, the raid between two. This is some Yodolf built. And don't give me the line about it. Rethrow the tridents before using the farm. And it has on and off the... <clears throat> wow, my voice is cracking. I really need to uh, calm it down for the night probably. I don't know what these switches do and I'm not going to try to break it. I haven't used this. and But it, it, you can tell it, it's a pretty nice farm. I believe it is broken because of the R44. So I don't know if he's fixed it yet. However, if he has not, I will probably build a different one somewhere else. And we'll work on that on stream also. Yeah, Yodoff, man, he is a, he's a crazy builder. He uh, We were going to birch stuff up here, but then I was like, man, I don't want to mess with it. And then... Next thing I know, rays will be spawning off the side. We'll have a whole problem. So we didn't mess with anything up there. But we did birch the bottom. As it should have been. And before anyone feels bad for Yodolf, I want to rem remind everyone that we didn't start this. 20 minutes. Okay. I only have 20 minutes left. I'm going to show you the roof at spawn. where We uh, were Navy Nexus. Rufus Atticus and Kairu cut the roof out of the nether. For some people that didn't get to see it earlier, then we will wrap the stream up and I'll see you guys tomorrow maybe for Broke Rock. If you want to know more about the roof, oh, we should eat before we run into that. Maybe he despawned. That'd be nice, right? The R44 applies to everyone. Servers. Uh, realms, it doesn't matter. Mm, I don't think that's true. I think it does apply. I, I honestly don't know what update we're on. I know my client is on 1.6.2. So I, yeah, eat. that's right. Sorry, yard a little, a little behind me. If they don't update, then I don't play here. I, I, simple as that. I stay on the current update, or I stay in the beta. I don't. I don't have one of those things that uh, does the different ones. Here we are at, at uh, spawn. This is the uh, Nether spawn. Oh my God! I'm telling you, this gas spawns in the same spot every time. I'm half tempted to build a gas farm right here. There's always a gas right here. Like literally within 10 blocks right here somewhere there's going to be a gas. Every time. And if you watch Dr. Jan Science's video, you can see me die to him about 100 times. But it drops way down and the roof is removed. There's no roof here. See that? It just goes. There's no roof. Yeah, like I said, we didn't we didn't start this this little uh, birch war. 
Yodov started the Birch War. He started the Wood Wars. We'll call it that. We'll call it the Wood Wars. But Yodov started that, and we uh, answered. If the server is on 1.61 and the client is on 1.62, he will still be able to join. I don't know if that's true. I don't think so. I think you could do it on 1.16 and 1.16.1, but I think once everyone updated to 1.16.2, the server had to join 1.16.2. I don't think 1.16.2 is compatible with 1.16.1. There are some versions that are similar numbers that are compatible, but I don't think that is one of them. Let me uh, let me jump up on the roof of the of the Nether. Like I said, Rufus Atticus, Navy Nexus, they all have videos showing this Project Snowbird. Uh, they're really interesting. How they remove the roof, isn't that cool? How cool is that, right? You don't see that a lot of places. You aren't, you aren't seeing this on a lot of servers where they did it in survival. These guys did it in survival. They removed this roof. Now, I was skeptical about whether it was going to be worth it or not. However, I say totally worth it. That is awesome. They broke all of that bedrock in survival. That is flex right there. That is total flex. You don't see that anywhere else. All right, I'm going to wrap up the stream. Thank you for watching. Um, if links are not in the description, then they will be whenever this is available for replay. I don't know when that'll be YouTube. You know, it'll be up to them. Maybe it'll be immediately. Maybe it'll be an hour. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. We'll see. But links will be in the description. Join all the discords. Subscribe to everybody in the link. Especially the exploit members. They do crazy, crazy stuff. I mean, I just build iron farms and stuff like that. These these guys, they build crazy flying machines that break bedrock. All right, thank you for watching. I'm going to jump off the server, but I'm going to bring up chat. Make sure I didn't miss anything in chat real quick. I got a cough. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to lean away from the mic. <coughs> I have tried ordering a new mic. I've tried ordering a new mic with a mute button because I have terrible grass allergies, but how much to, till stream ends? It just ended in like a couple of minutes. I'm going to catch up on chat real quick. Let's see. Didn't Nick say they're going to play playing on 1.16.1? He did say that, but when 1.16.2 came out, there wasn't a lot of changes other than the R44, and I think he just decided to go with it. Because a lot of the members don't have version switchers. And because I play on so many servers. Dr. Jan Cyan plays on a lot of servers. Uh, Rufus Atticus, he plays with uh, Linux. Uh, a lot of people can't download these version switchers. And it, it's, it's difficult for members to play. And uh, he understands that. I mean, he wants to stay on certain versions. But it, it, sometimes it's just not possible. Unless it is really, really worth it to stay on that version for a reason, uh, we're, we're going to stay on the current update. Uh, let's see. How much to, let's see, 20 minutes max? Yeah, 20 minutes max. Like 15 minutes max now. Uh, it is. My bro plays a 1.16 and I'm 1.16.2. And are we able to join? I will take your word for it. I don't know that that's 100%, but I'll take your word for it. But I don't think so. I just cure a zombie villager and he's a librarian. How there are no lecterns. Yeah, when you... There are a couple... I don't know if it's visual. You, you may try to trade with him. See if you can trade with him. Um, there are a couple of bugs where when you cure villagers, they have random professions. and If you place down a different workstation and a bed, he'll, he'll take the new workstation. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, obviously, yes, the people answered in chat. Uh, let's see. 
Let's see. Yeah, you can change the profession. You can use blocks in the bottom, which has been really good. And like 21 chunks on bottom chunks in the Econo Island. Okay. 21 chunks. Wow. R44 Master Slime Farms. Is that? Oh, probably. That's probably what happened. Yeah, it messed up a lot of mob farms. It didn't really affect villagers or iron farms or anything like that. It did affect raid farms a little bit, and I had to do some adjustments to the one on advanced automation. And I may look for an outpost. I know we have them in, in our uh, uh, Rufus Atticus. He ran our bedrock on the server, and he, he showed us where all the um, all the um, monuments and outposts and witch huts, and we know where all that stuff is. So I may just look for another one and build a raid farm. I, uh, I don't like rebuilding other people's stuff because I don't like when people rebuild my stuff. Because I know eventually I'm going to come back to it. So I'm not going to mess with Yodolf's raid farm. I probably will build another raid farm at some point in time. Once we get a more of a trading hall situation set up. And we need more emeralds. Uh, you can't even get 100,000 arrow average anymore. Yeah. I um, Slime farms got really ridiculous. People got super competitive with them. How many, how many hundreds of thousands of slime balls. No one needs that. There is... Four flex, and there is what the average, the average person should build. The average person should not build the fat stacks iron farm. It is ridiculous for one person. You don't need that. No one, no single one person needs that. It is 100% for flex. So if you have an iron farm or a slime farm or whatever that is, some ridiculous rates, you don't need it. It's for flex. We all know it. We were making 130, 150,000 slime farm an hour. Not possible on 1.16.2 though. That is correct. A lot of people claim they're making this or that or whatever. And it has this many 100,000. It don't. The max theoretical rate is 98,000. That's the max theoretical rate. The, the actual rate will be a lot lower than that. The, um. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Your sim distance doesn't even matter. It doesn't affect your your, your spawn distance. Because your spawn distance is all set to R44. Yeah, it doesn't... It, it won't matter. You can have your sim distance set to 100. And it doesn't matter. Not that you could, but you, you know... If you had a custom sim distance. And it won't matter because no mobs will spawn out that far. Yeah. Yeah, the um, if you use a hundred villagers, you get about about a thousand more iron per hour. Though, if you build a fat stacks for an additional twenty villagers, you get another uh, thousand ingots. So there you go with that. Yeah, the iron rock it um. The old Iron Rock, it used so many villages. God, it used so much materials. And it didn't make any more than the fat stacks. It used so many villagers, so many doors, so many, just I mean, just tons of stuff. That thing was enormous. It was really awesome for the time period. But man, it was so complicated to build. Yeah, the the iron rock is broken. It's been broken since like one point ten. It didn't. It it didn't. It never made it to uh to the uh, village and pillage. The village and pillage update is kind of where I started getting into villages. And uh, a guy named Or TV, that's his YouTube channel. He and I got into iron farms, and we we just I mean a lot of the stuff we discovered through accident. I'll be honest with you, we were just randomly building and we would send stuff back and forth and we were testing and I mean we we were obsessed and uh, uh, I, I think it was 1300 or 2300 it was, it was about the same as the as the fat sex it was it was pretty close and um, we were just randomly build just iron farms we were just testing everything every there were no bad ideas we we built stuff on rails and just I mean we built this the most ridiculous stuff we would build iron farms with like 400 villagers just to see what it would do. We were building crazy stuff. And I wish I still had pictures of all that stuff. I wish I still had the world downloads. I don't. 
I had computer problems and I lost a lot of stuff. I, I may have to check with Orge if he still has it. I mean, we would have, we would build like 200 prototypes, you know, in, in like a month. We were just building crazy. <laughs> I forgot why I was subscribed to this channel. Uh, hopefully it was for Iron Farms. Uh, this is this is the early parts of the village and pillage when nobody was uh, doing anything with iron farms. People were saying that 32 ingots was the max, and they were like, "This is just what it is." And iron farms are broken. And then suddenly, me and Or we we started building these iron farms. And uh, what did I do before I got into villager tech? I just I built mob farms. I built them on Reddit. I just would just talk to anybody and everybody I could find on Reddit. And uh, anybody that played Bedrock that even had the slightest bit of tech knowledge, I would just I would just message them. I'd be like, "Hey, sorry to bother you. Um, you know, here's what I know. Here's can you tell me what you know about this? Somebody told me to watch your vids. Well, thank you. Should go thank whoever told you that. I, I used to be a pretty epic mob farmer. I, I still have some of the pictures from some of that stuff. I have it on my uh, Google Drive. Anyways, back to the ore story and. Suddenly, me and Orb, we were stacking nine villages. We were stacking multiple villages. Nobody else was doing it at the time. And we were we were doing, you know, we would do two stacks, three stacks, four stacks, five stacks an hour, which was, at the time was unheard of because people, people were claiming they were doing 32 ingots per hour, but they were doing like 24 ingots. And we were doing like stacks. We were doing stacks and stacks of iron per hour. I mean, just crazy revolutionary stuff for the time. And uh, that's how I got into it. That's how I really got into it. And that's how my channel blew up. Because I was just I was just playing with a dude I liked. I, I knew Orr from Reddit. And we we kind of got to be buddies. And we would just send stuff back and forth and chat. And and I would tell people on Discord, hey, I'm, I am built this iron farm and I'm getting four sacks. And, and people would be like, oh, you're a liar. And I'm like, okay, I'll post it on YouTube and you'll see. And I'll, I'll provide you downloads. People people called me liars, man. I, I, I got harassed on... on uh, on Discord and stuff, because people were just like, you're lying, man. You know, this YouTuber I follow, he he says you can only get 32. And I'm like, that's not true. Me and Orr, we're, we're stacking iron farms, and this is how you do it. If you go back and look at some of my first videos, I deleted a lot of stuff that, was, that wasn't that was really farms or related stuff. But if you go back and look at, like, my first video, it shows how to stack villages in 1.11. We were stacking them way back then. We were the first people to start stacking villages in in uh, 1.11. Hi, back I'm dead. Carp with the dad jokes. But yeah, that's how I got started in iron farms and village stuff in general. It's just me and Orr. We were just we were just palling around and playing Minecraft with each other. We would just send stuff back and forth. We had testing worlds, and he would join, and I would join his, and we would just send stuff back and forth. We he had a YouTube page, but it didn't have very many subscribers. And I didn't even have one. That's what I'm saying. You don't need a YouTube channel. You don't need, uh, I don't know what my current subscriber count is. It's over 7,000, but you don't need 7,000 subscribers. Just find you someone that enjoys playing the same way you do and just play with them. You'll have so much fun. Yeah. He, he, I, I don't want to get into to that, but he says a lot of things. No, that the village leader was later. That was after Orr and I started stacking villages, and then he got in on it with that. He didn't design that villager leader thing. A guy named Pico Nico one one seven designed that. He Pico Nico one one seven is the guy that came up with that villager leader thing. And if you look him up, he's a a Halo player, which I love Halo. Yeah, you shouldn't build that. Never build that. The um. He is a, and he, at the time he was a smart dude. He's from Mexico and he's a smart guy. And he, he thought he was on to something, but he, he just wasn't. Can you imagine if the mechanics were get 15 villagers, kill five of them, save and quit, uh, you know, like 10 times like that? That's insane. Or recently did get back into YouTube. He, um, he took a long break for a while for, for reasons I'm not going to get into. But you should check out his channel or TV. I'm gonna put it right here. Or TV. This is not the link. This is just what it's called. You can look it up. He his thumbnails. Man, he is an incredible artist. He uh, I, 
I wish he did voiceovers, but he doesn't. He just does signs and subtitles and stuff. Um, he's from Japan, and uh, he does his. He's an incredible artist. His thumbnails are just crazy art. He like custom draws all this stuff. It is insane the stuff he's doing. His his thumbnails, and on top of that, he's a flying machine expert. Man, he is crazy smart. He built a flying note block song machine. Like he is he is crazy smart with flying machines. So yeah, go check him out. Um, I am done. Yeah, his artwork is awesome. I am uh, I'm gonna close the stream out. Thank you for watching. Check me out tomorrow on Broke Rock again. Um, I enjoyed it. Thank you everybody for watching. Um we haven't played together in a while. We still talk on Discord. I am super busy. Um he's super busy. We just don't have time. Yeah, yeah, the concert poster. The um that was actually a uh, Easter egg for me, Dr. Jen Cyan and uh uh Zen of Chef were all in the in the uh in the uh, thumbnail art for that video. Thank you for watching. Go check out everybody. Bye everybody. Thank you for watching. I've got to close it out. It's almost